What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Classic Gamer Bobby. And on this episode of Retro One and Dumb, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most important first person shooters ever created. We're going to be taking a look at GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64. Let's check it out. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Retro One and Done. Um, so what we're taking a look at here is GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64. Um, we're just going to play through the first level, kind of take a trip down memory lane, and reminisce about this oldie but goodie of a first person shooter. Now why this game was a big deal back in the day was because it was one of the first like legit multiplayer first person shooters. And I don't mean by like today's standards like online first person shooters. This was local multiplayer, meaning the Nintendo 64 had four uh, controller slots. So you had four people in this little battle arena duking it out. And that kind of set the precedent for what multiplayer online shooters became. Um, so we're just gonna take a quick run through of this first level here. It's been a long time since I played it. Um, hopefully I can remember all the controls and what does what, so... Let's get the little intro here. I don't need all that. Alright, so I can move. We gotta move forward. Ah, got him! <laughs> right in the crotch. Alright. That's what I'm going for. Alright. Oh. Check the watch, sit back, and we are going to play some Goldeneye now. Okay, that's how we do that. And the controller's a little sensitive, I'll give it that. Come on, break. Alright, so we got our sniper rifle. I remember being pretty good at this game, but... Alright, let's see. That's the one I want. There we go. Ow. Can I get him from here? Probably not. Got him. Oh no, I didn't get him. Alright, so. If I remember correctly, we've got a couple of missions, or a couple of objectives we have to do in this. Um, oh, I remember this part. Go in here. Ooh, you didn't see me. You saw me. Now, while this is still a fun first-person shooter, uh, especially in, like, solo play, and the multiplayer. I'll give it the multiplayer. I mean, that's what made it very popular back in the day. It, I don't know. Something's not holding up for me. I don't know if it's the controls or frame rate. I'm not sure. Something's not holding up for me. I mean, I'm not complaining, though. This is still fun. How do I get over there? Can I get through here? I can. <laughs> oh, you're done for. You guys are done. back to... Nope, don't want that. Click. There we go. Alright, so we're going to let the truck go through. One thing we got to do. Hurry up and close. Boy, they, they did this in real time, I guess. <laughs> Alright. One here. Alright, we can do the glass. Nice. Now, uh, is there... I know I've got some, like... Alarms to be taken care of.
Where's she shooting me from? No dice, sir. I know there's a way to get in there. Open the gate. Go in here. Whoop, whoop. Getting a little nauseous. What happened? Okay. What is going on? There we go. Get out of here. Uh... Okay, there's my straight. Okay. Well, I've got that figured out. Controls are inverted, no wonder. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Alright. Anybody over here? Oops. <laughs> Oops. I think I might have messed up. I don't think I was supposed to destroy that. I could have had another gun by now. Did I get it? Nope. Shows you how long it's been since I played this game. Here, I'm getting shot. Get out of here with that. Oh, I fell down. No buenas. No buenas. Oh. Turret, nothing to do up here. Okie dokie. And I'm stuck. Looks like I'm stuck. Why can't I? There we go. Ah, oh, these inverted controls. Look how, look how touchy that is. Alright. Oh. Mowing through these guys. Sorry if I got quiet, guys. I was getting into the game. Hey, thanks for opening the uh, door for me there, buddy. Appreciate you. What's up here? Have a little look-see. Anything going on in here? Okay. Anything up here? Okay. Can you uh, open up again? Thank you. Go back down. Going the way we were going. supposed to be shooting those red buzzers or alert systems or what we got over here like a bunch of nothing all right let's go up 
Yeah, I, I totally didn't read the uh, mission objectives. I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. Oh, there was a guy down there. Anything down here? Nope. So. Let's pause this. And see. Incomplete. Okay, well, we didn't complete the mission. But I can't figure out what to do, and that's because I'm an idiot and didn't read the mission objectives. <laughs> that's okay, though. Come on. Come on, James Bond. Get to where you need to go. Jump off the ledge. Right here. Walk up the steps. There we go. Looks like he's gonna die or something, I guess. Now we have the infamous jump scene in the game here. And all in all, the movie itself wasn't bad. I liked it. Pretty fun game. Now, there's a lot to discuss right here. Um, is this game any fun to play? Yes, if you can get past the controls, in my opinion. Um, the graphics, they're okay. Right? They hold up. Um, there are some frame rate issues. Um, but the fact that it was like the first first-person shooter to have multiplayer in it, that also kind of saves it, in my opinion. Um, so looking back at it, in hindsight and retrospect and everything like that, I'd give this game about a 7 out of 10. Fun to play, especially if you have a group of people with you uh, and you're, you know, jamming out on the N64 and you want a good multiplayer game to play with people. Um, and if you can get past the controls and get used to them, perfect game to play. Um, but yeah, I'll stick with my 7 out of 10 rating on this. Check it out, play it, get to know the history of where multiplayer shooters come from, so... Um, but guys, that's all I got for you for this episode of Retro One and Done. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, for all you new people here to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that notification bell down at the bottom. That way you guys can get notified as to when I post up new material. Also, don't forget to smash that like button if you're enjoying what I'm putting out there. And remember guys, until next time, keep on gaming. Game